Comics Plus, so what is going on? My name is Akasan. <laughs> What's up, Super Crew? What's going on? DC Death Star. Battle! Death Battle. Sorry, we've been recording a lot, so yeah. he's on. <clears throat> Let's open this up. I'll let the sun come in. Um, all right. Legs are filling that Death Battle. Thor versus Vegeta! Money's on Vegeta for now. I'm like, that's not even a fight. Really? Man. Really? I mean... I wonder what kind of Thor they're going to use. Rune King Thor. Um, you know. Well, considering Vegeta is at what god level now? That's a good point. That's a good it's point. Like they'd have to use basically the equivalent of it. Otherwise, they would do the uber downgrade and use the classic Thor against classic is it, is Vegeta. This, is, this basically, okay. is this basically them making it up to us for not doing a Superman versus Goku 3 or whatever? You know, because people still want to. that. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I'm like, uh, who cares? You know what the result's going to be. Yeah, Vegeta's going to... Uh, uh, Vegeta, what? <laughs> Vegeta's going to lose this one, and Goku's going to lose against him. Oh, God, what if they do come in Please. like that? All right, here we go, uh, let's go. Like they did in the last one? Yeah. Where Superman was down lap. with uh, Zatanna know, kind of thing? Oh, that God. People were so heated about that one. Yeah. They were heated. Okay, not real oh, beer. It's a one. bunch of emojis. Listen up, this is crazy. Did you know the Death Metal Channel offers membership for less than three bucks? Membership? No, but I, what I, I do know what I want is this. Here we go. Yeah, thank you. It's all good, you know. Although I do miss Ruby. Ruby, man, it just got longer and longer. Though. I've never liked the, the long gloves on Thor. Uh, no Buzzer Kabbalah! My dude. Mm. Or God's their egos. He's true. And it's our job to analyze their weapons All my money on Vegeta. I love Death Thor, battle. though. Yeah, but Thor without his hammer, depending on what version they use, is like, cracks. you're depowered now. Hmm, good point. Your eyes. You look up to the sky and pray for mercy. Because Thor is angry. Well, you would have if you were a Viking. Now, who's Nowadays, that? We don't have <laughs> <laughs> right. oh, don't For in the modern mythology of he is like dude comics, from um, the Norse god of thunder Flash. Oh, oh. oh. Thor is a hell of an upgrade. The son of the All Father Odin, Thor lived the life of a warrior prince, yes. battling all manner of magical foe for thousands of years. Mm. That is until he got a little too big for his britches. So to teach him a lesson about humility and compassion, uh, yeah. whatever. Odin exiled him to the worst place in the universe. Earth. New York. Oh. Ooh, <laughs> All right. Remember and Donald Blake? gave him a limp it's and a cane. Durable, immune to disease and capable of healing far faster than any mortal man. He's also the literal god of strength. We're talking lifted a planet really? sized serpent. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Wait, who did? He had a death battle oh, against somebody else. A while back. Maybe Wonder Woman. Strong. Notably, I wouldn't be surprised. Mm. Or Superman. Because mm. mm. both of them lifted his hammer stock. in the books. So I could see them putting it again. I think it was a few years. Yeah, we watched it. It was, it was many years ago. And I think Kelly was, was with us. Yeah! <laughs> And what better weapon for the god? One of my favorite comics, sir. Sentient cosmic storm. Yes. Eons ago, the almighty god Tempest rampaged through the universe. It arrived in Asgard, and after a pitched battle, Odin managed to trap it within a, a block pitched of the battle. magical or Uru that he Uru. forged into his Uru. son's hammer. Uru. <laughs> Uru. Oh, what more can be said about this beautiful thing? Forged in the heart of a dying star that went supernova and killed the dinosaurs, Mjolnir is <laughs> my favorite thing ever. He can channel bolts of lightning, manipulate the weather, open portals to other dimensions, and absorb Oh, wow. Okay. Mm. So even Mjolnir has an upgrade. With this radiation dude, yeah, the that's kind of cool. But that's like his, um, He's even used was this his helmet, his what? bracelets, and his... Bomb. Which would have killed every deity in yeah. existence across Oh, right, 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 right. I think that's what Gord did. The, the God Ball. Thor invisible and intangible. Let him travel through time and even bring people back to life. And if Thor wants to fly, all he has to do is take it for a spin. Literally, he throws that motherfucker as hard as he can. And when he does, it flies fast enough to cross the entire galaxy in seconds. Only one problem. It's a little teeny. Unlike Thor's big ass axe, Yarnbjorn, mm. it's sharp enough to cut through celestial armor. Yeah. And it's unbreakable. And, uh, and an axe. Okay, look, it doesn't have a galaxy storm inside it, but it's still pretty cool. Oh, shit, look, Wisp. 
Uh, my bad, guys. I missed the Twitch stream. Thank you for all the subscriptions. I had no notifications. My bad, y'all. But should he face an enemy beyond the likes of even his world-shattering strength, Thor can harness his inherent godly power into hmm. one single ultimate attack, the God Blast. Also known uh, as the Ginky Dumbo. Even Galactus, the devourer of worlds, shit his pants and bounced really? into such an awesome attack. Really? Jesus, even the Avengers seem pretty small potatoes compared to this guy. Why do you even bother with them? Because not every problem can be solved by hitting it really hard. Well, it's true. That's <laughs> the point of Odin's lesson. To force his yeah, headstrong true, son to true. confront a world more complex and nuanced than his millennial okay, battle okay. had prepared him for. Ooh, I wish we had a Thor game. A warrior, he had to be a we do. It's Thursday. <laughs> The Silver Surfer, and even the Sentry. God of War. The Sentry is strong enough to contend with the World Breaker Hulk, a being strong enough to destroy the Marvel Universe over a hundred times over. And fast enough to demolish Ares, the Greek God of War, who can fight within mm. the span of Planck time. That's like the tiniest amount of time that we can imagine. There are as many Planks in a second as there are grains of sand on Earth. Oh, they always have I good music. I meant when, uh, 10 billion, billion, billion what? Thor has tanked disintegration beams trying to tear apart his atoms one by one, survived Mephisto trying to consume his soul, and even withstood a temporal rift that aged normal people to dust. Oh, he's a hard bastard to kill, and even nastier when he loses his temper. By entering a state mm. known as Warrior's Madness, Warrior's Madness in, mode. Sin in Asgardian society. Yeah. What? And willingly sacrifices his sanity for a tenfold yeah. increase in power. Really? Despite being that a really sweet lunk that talks like he's in Masterpiece Theater looks like and dresses like apart. he's in What's Opera Duck, Thor has struggled with being worthy of his father's legacy and throne. But no matter what unbelievable shit Marvel throws at him, <laughs> Thor always rises to the occasion. That was so Take good. The time this big machine called the World Engine was controlling Yggdrasil, the world tree that connects hmm. ten universe-sized realms. The World Engine's purpose was to mechanically trick Yggdrasil into disrupting the natural flow of Ragnarok, the hmm. end of the world. The end of so it, yeah. Thor just pushed it and literally reversed the flow of fate. That's right. He outmuscled a giant multiversal tree and prevented Armageddon. Not a bad Saturday. Uh -oh. And he'd go a hmm. step further and defeat the mysterious elder gods that manipulated the cycle of Ragnarok in Shit. the first place. Shit. Someone lost their head. It's starting to get kind of scary. All right, Vegeta. Oh God! Because you'll know it's just Thor, the God of Thunder, kicking ass and saving the day. I mean, that's pretty hype. I'm not gonna lie, they hyped it up. All right, Vegeta. Vegeta. My oh, lord. Yeah. Thirsty warrior race known as the Saiyans. And named for their mighty leader. Also known as Saiyan. Noting the Saiyans' proficiency in genocide. <laughs> cold and his son Frieza contracted them to be their monkeys. Conquer monkeys. The in their name. But when Frieza felt these monkeys were getting a bit too uppity for their own good, <laughs> he nuked them in their whole planet. The king was dead, leaving yeah. his young son, the prince Vegeta, alone. Burning with a grudge against Frieza for wounding his ancestral pride, Vegeta awaited the moment he could extract his revenge. As one of Frieza's former top enforcers, Veggie was trained from birth. I gotta give him credit. They do put a lot of production to make the hype it up, man. Making his natural physiology significantly stronger and more durable than a human. children. Trunks and... Just by hands. Hmm? Trunks and... and what? Like trunks trunks or... Is just children? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. As a trunks, trunks and uh, Goten? And Goten? No, 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 sorry, 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 no. Uh, to blow him to he has one more kid, I forgot, Vegeta though. Yeah. Pan? No. Out of existence with his soul. Man, that's our no, that's go that's go hunts. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Maybe not. It was said children, so. Oh, okay. So let's be real. Vegeta's favorite is <laughs> with big ass laser. True. He's got the purple big ass laser, two handed big ass laser, rapid fire big ass laser, exploding ball big ass laser, and fuck it, omnidirectional. You're omnidirectional. Yeah. I like that. I nice. say, my favorite is the mouth wide open vomit big ass laser. No, oh, that's more of a Napa thing. Right. Kind of yeah. like this. <laughs> of key mastery boomstick <laughs> it hurts when i breathe <laughs> <laughs> that was good is God the one key. inherent to his saiyan biology right Whenever a saiyan survives right. a life or death struggle they get ultra ego exponentially that's what frieza was so terrified of the saiyan's infinite evolutionary potential so it's no wonder vegeta eventually toppled the alien tyrant with the help of another surviving saiyan 
Kegarat. And with Frieza's defeat at the hands of this Earthbound Super Saiyan, Vegeta had a new rival and a new goal. Become blonde! No but <laughs> Vegeta can harness the rage of his Saiyan heritage and transform into a Super Saiyan 2 and a Super Saiyan 2. But, but try as he might, Vegeta <laughs> struggled it. to keep up with Goku's ever in True, that's power. right. I guess it doesn't help that Vegeta is maybe the single cockiest bastard to ever have existed. Yeah, sure, dude. Let Cell become perfect. Nah, we'll be fine. Hope your spine is doing all right. Dumbass. Though Vegeta did manage I'm like, to accomplish something is it that, that dirty? Goku couldn't do on his own. Or are they cleaning? Is that what it is? Sweeping. Oh, okay, okay. The same damn spot for yeah, five minutes. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Martial artist to conquer with some angelic training to boot. Right. With spirit hmm. vision, Here we go. He forcibly absorb an opponent's key with every strike. And he even learned Goku's patented instant transmission, allowing hmm. him to teleport huge distances. But most importantly, with God Key, he can go even further beyond and become a Super Saiyan God. God. A Super yeah. Saiyan God from Super Saiyan, Saiyan. And a Super right. Saiyan God, God from Super, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Evolved. His power got completely mm. insane. Evolved. The okay. Dude was strong okay. Enough to I think that's called royal. Yeah. Spirit and time, an entirely royal blue. Dimension, mm. Just by powering up. When Goku fought Beerus, he nearly destroyed the universe. And that was the very first time he ever went Super Saiyan God. Considering we've measured Dragon Ball's Universe 7 to be up to 13 times bigger than our own, he'd need to be punching okay. with that much more energy to bust it. And since the shockwaves of their punches traveled across the universe in seconds, Goku would have had to be punching that fast too. And that's not accounting for Vegeta's training in various exponential transformations. When an amount of power is measured by how many universes it can destroy, <laughs> power itself okay. is okay. comprehensive. Okay, okay, okay. Right. We're not done. Vegeta can tap into the same monstrous energy yes. Beerus yes. has. Yes. Destruction energy. And yes. when he does, he can perform Hakai and erase Hakai. Your ass from existence entirely. I'm glad they're including this. Spiritually. Because this is fairly new, yeah. As it had wiped you from time itself. Such is the might Jesus. of a god of destruction. For when Vegeta wants to go one step beyond, beyond, he seizes that very power. He hmm. becomes a warrior fueled only by lust for battle. He becomes so this is Ultra Ego. Ultra there, ego. His version of um, Ultra Thor. Instinct. No, no, his Ball. version of Thor losing his the offensive counterpart to Goku's ultra morality, so to speak. Ultra Ego Vegeta is a veritable juggernaut. I love it. I can't wait. Come his way and return them even stronger. Yes. It's wild. This guy has a Napoleon complex. He's one of the biggest badasses ever to exist. In a way, failing to beat Goku was probably the best thing for him. Vegeta's whole life was spent rebelling against the humiliation of his race, trying to prove his worth by being the best. By contrast, Goku's self-improvement was never stunted by his ego and insecurities. Right. In realizing that, Vegeta became more than a fighter, but a husband and a father as mm. well, willing to sacrifice himself for what mattered most. And Vegeta got a taste of that himself when he hooked up with Bulma for some Super Saiyan <laughs> sexy time. Getting to meet Frieza's golden ass probably didn't hurt either. He may not always win, but he'll never be that was down so for good long. in the movie. So be yeah. sure to practice your groveling because this is one prince you don't want to piss off. Yes. Okay. I'm with it. I'm with it. After I'm saying that, it. I'm like, uh... oh, were you, were you, were you, uh, going Team Thor there? For, for the no, I was actually trying to stay as neutral as possible okay. after I heard it because there are things about both characters I didn't know. Okay, okay. It's so like this last part about uh, Vegeta. Yeah. I didn't know. Okay. Like Ultra Eagle, I've yeah. heard of it, but had no idea. Its yeah, it's purpose. fairly new, so I'm so glad that they included it. Yeah. But then also with Thor, him um, basically going into berserker mode is what I call it. Mm. Um, <laughs> it's like I knew about that, but you know, just how powerful does it get for his character? In comparison to Vegeta. And something else to kind of consider is like, uh, in terms of Berserker mode, we'll call mm. that. We'll go call it that. Hyper Viper Claw. He's Sorry. losing, he's sacrificing his sanity, which yeah. is very different from Vegeta is still in control and yeah. using. And just doesn't other, care. <laughs> other people's forces against them. So, yeah. uh, I, I'm, the deal is sealed for me. I'm like this. It's I, Vegeta. It's, it's almost a shoe win for Vegeta. Yeah. Um, Unless something just dumb happens, like real dumb. Like, like Thor throws the hammer, he's fighting uh, Vegeta, and Vegeta doesn't realize it, and it comes up and something evaporates like that, right? his right. noggin from right. behind. Right. Because, I mean, it's one of those where he's got, he could teleport anywhere he wants to. Uh, Thor could do that to a point, but not quite the same. Correct. Um, he would need a bit of a startup, so to speak. 
But with that, it's like. Right, I think. Yeah. I I can't I can't imagine Thor. I'll say this: the way this is is starting off, it almost feels like Too Vegeta. Easy. Yeah, that, Vegeta that, that, would yeah. have to win because he's always losing against Goku. Therefore, he would have to win against Thor. You understand? You me? know, I, I know what you're saying, but I think I, I swear I think Vegeta fought uh, Shadow in the death battle before. Yeah. Oh. I'm pretty damn sure. Vegeta has you been in a be death right. battle before. And He's it been was, in, what, two or three? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Because he was actually kind of mad about it because of the fact that Goku got to keep on fighting Superman, but yeah. they teamed him up against a hedgehog, and he yeah. was kind of pissed and about pissed it. Off. Yeah. So I think he's winning this one, dude. Like I, can't I feel like he's yeah. going to. Yeah, he needs a win. I'll be so mad if he loses. Even though I love Thor, though, I love Thor. So I love Thor too. But I mean, if I'm like this, if Thor wins, I need a really good explanation yeah. to why. If Thor wins, we riot. And did, it's not. A, did he it's lose not to dis- Wonder Woman? I'm trying to remember. If he didn't lose to Wonder Woman, I'm 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 pissed. Okay. I want to say remember. he did. Okay. But it's also before a lot of uh, before change, some of the right. more recent stuff right. happened, which. Would make it interesting because both of their characters have now evolved even more. Okay, well, well, let's go. Both Wonder Woman and Thor. Hi. Here we go. LP.com yes. Death battle. battle. Turn this shit up. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a death battle. Boogie back with that. They've both got lusciously blonde locks. <laughs> Tree. Do you think they're using this style on purpose from now on? Nah, I just think it depends on the animator who's available. Oh there, mighty warrior. What business have us thou upon earth? Throw that hammer at me again, and my business will be polishing my gloves upon your face. <laughs> it's that count. He said this, that, cat. Alright. I'm surprised he didn't pu- punch there a hole through him already. Let's go, Vegeta. Just go straight into it. Oh. Yeah. Uh, where did he pull that up from? I was like, yeah, <laughs> where, where did that come where from? Where was that hiding? Oh, yeah. Where'd you pull that out of? From his Asgard. From Dal's anus. Arrivus. I have evolved beyond gods. gods. Nice. And this is what makes me worry. Get too I like cocky. how they've got the Norwegian kind of rock too. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No. They're setting us up. Wow, he went right into it. Yeah. Like. Oh. Nornir absorbed that. Oh! Oh, oh okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this is beautiful. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> where he's absorbing all the. Does a god such as yourself feel so fear? I know that. I know that. So this is him maxed out, I think. No. Yeah. Not yet. Remember, Royal Blue. I think Thor's just taking a beating. There you go. It's cool that they gave him the MCU, or the uh, comic accurate costume. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh shit, wait a second. Yeah. Oh, you will feel in oblivion. Speaking of which, now that's him going insane, right? Blast! So I feel it's more of a. Yo, if this ends in a getting draw. too, too yeah. cocky. Oh! 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 <laughs> that's it. No. That's it. Nope. What? Right, what? Tight. Yeah. Because he hadn't powered up yet. Oh, shit! Always aim for the head. Oh, no. 
Oh. Yep. That makes more sense. What did I tell you? I told you. What did I tell you specifically? From the back of the head. Knew it. Oh, I get it. Thor I knew it. Because he's a natural blonde. <laughs> you look <Vegeta's> pissed. <laughs> You're like, nah, bro. Thunder had him outmatched in several key areas. First off, the big one, who was stronger. Despite being up against the god of strength, Vegeta actually matched up pretty closely with Thor. Both could output powers far in excess of destroying a single universe. It's yeah. always tough to get an exact number for Dragon Ball Super's most powerful characters, but we can combine the size of Universe 7 with multipliers from Vegeta's transformations to get a rough estimate. It's important to note that Ultra Ego's power boost has never been stated, but we do know that Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta were roughly even in power. Okay. When Goku applied a Kaioken times 20 boost to fight Jiren, Vegeta kept up after going blue evolved, implying that both increases in power are roughly the same increase. Similarly, blue Vegeta matched base top and needed blue evolved to keep up with top's god of destruction form, which is extremely similar to Ultra Ego in theme and purpose. <sighs> which I find interesting because example of when the form akin to Ultra Goku Ego, using the Kaioken, that Ultra Ego's boost in power he wasn't maxed. initially could be extremely similar in terms of a percentage increase making Ultra Ego's original state about 20 times more powerful than Blue Evolve. With that in mind, Vegeta at his peak could destroy a universe roughly 260,000 times over. And Thor was pretty close to that. Taking a look at the Marvel Universe's size, which has a radius of at least a trillion light years, as well as scaling to the World Breaker Hulk, Thor ended up only about 10 times stronger. Not terribly different, and it's definitely possible Vegeta's power could increase during the fight to match it. But even if he was stronger, it wasn't the only thing that mattered. Ultra Ego's damage absorption could only do so much against an opponent like Thor. Vegeta may have trained as a warrior from birth, but Thor has been fighting for millennia against a much wider... <laughs> yeah, fair enough, yeah. ...allowing him to adapt to Vegeta fairly easily. Okay. And the fact that Thor was way faster gave him a lot of leeway to use that extra combat experience. Hmm. I think it was more... Uh, Thor stayed calm. Vegeta should be able to fight at nearly 300 quintillion times the speed of light. But scaling to Ares moving within plank time? Thor would be over 70 quadrillion times faster. More than fast enough to avoid Vegeta's key attacks. <laughs> You're like, that's a stretch. Absorb all of them with Mjolnir. Nah. This alone could shut down all of Vegeta's ranged attacks. Sure, Veggie could absorb it back with spirit vision, but he'd have to hit Thor first. And with that much of a speed difference, that's easier said than done. And since Thor can just will the energy out of somebody, he could just take it right back. And then some. Even without absorption, Vegeta's key reserves are not infinite, and many of his battles have ended with him at low energy. Gassed out, yeah. He was exhausted by the end of the Tournament of Power, which lasted about True. one hour in total. Meanwhile, Thor fought an army for over a month straight. <laughs> Vegeta True. could have ended the fight immediately with Hakai. Right. Not for the fact that Thor has resisted existence erasure before. What? Physically, spiritually, and temporally. Meanwhile, Vegeta had no way to match the God Blast, which could have killed friggin' Galactus. Galactus, and that guy has threatened the infinite multiverse with destruction just as a side effect of his battle. I will the say they did hype the shit out of that one. <laughs> they got me on that one. Alone, Vegeta. Vegeta hmm. was never going to go down easy, but right. Thor's raw power, speed, and devastating godly abilities were too much for the Prince of All Saiyans. Vegeta beyond nearly one until Thor blew his mind. <laughs> you say that pun was kind of terrible. Oh, you don't do puns. We've talked about this. Oh. My thing. Well, the winner is Thor. Whatever. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. We'll <sighs> Who do we got next? Next week. But you can always get more what? Death Battle right now by clicking one of those boxes right over there. And by downloading Home versus Battle Music linked down below. Next time is... Oh! Oh, man versus oh! oh! Yeah! Oh, really? I'm down with that. I'm down with that. I'm down with that. Okay. Okay, I like that. The Superman knockoffs. They, you know? they, they almost feel like one in the same. Right? But at the same time. It's that's like, a good one. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, the way Omni-Man has described Ooh, that's going to be good. Is the more that they train themselves, the stronger that they get. Right. Where Homelander was born that way via a drug. But what's its limitation? They, and I'm like this. Okay, he makes a comment about... Not being able to stop an airplane, right? Yeah. Maybe Omni Man? 
know. We'll see. We'll see. That's a that's a we story. We haven't really seen him use. We haven't really seen uh, Homelander use speed per right. se, outside of just to take off and land. Story for another Interesting. day. Interesting. But okay, well, damn man, Vegeta always getting dicked around in these death battles. No. Yeah. Goku. Uh, well, yeah. actually, technically. Goku lost twice against Superman. I was about to make that comparison. Yeah, and he should. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I'm like this. It was a good fight, but what did I say at the beginning? I wonder if they're going to do a Thor versus they, uh, Superman. Hap- that w- I, I don't know if they've ever done one, actually. I want to say yeah. it's happened. Yeah, right? But but um, Vegeta losing to Thor via Mjolnir in the back of the head is exactly what I said, because you'd have to catch him off guard somehow. Terrible. Yeah. Terrible. At first, I thought uh, Thor was going to um, uh, crush his head with his hand. And the fact that uh, Vegeta was taking the hits to Mjolnir to the chest. And like, laughing. Like, just like whatever. But and he's I like, guess what? You gotta aim for the head. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, can't say I'm uh, happy with the result, but yeah. it's it was still a cool battle. It was so it's fine. Yeah, it was a good fight. It was a good fight, you know. It, it was cute. I'm glad I didn't put money on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> glad I didn't put money. Glad I didn't put Sin Yin on it, man. All right. Till next time, guys. We'll talk to you then. Peace. Peace.